yellow. Oh. If I can find what? it. It doesn't have yellow in it. I don't know why my lighting has suddenly gone like this. I didn't put a light Since on. you put your Foxy Bingo thing I'm up. Having to, I'm having to turn it from oh. playing, playing here. <laughs> yeah, why my, eyes, my eyes twitching. That, can you see that? Not really. I zoomed in a bit more, but I can see your face. Okay. <laughs> that, that's my reflection in... Oh yeah, oh yeah. You got makeup on. Wait, here's a picture of um, Dan in that. God, I say it was a few months ago before lockdown. There's like a Christmas dinner picture not long before that, so it was obviously oh. a picture. That's like no filter. That's just oh, taken, yeah. That's just taken under the light of. He looks uh, sort of sepia-ish. Yeah. Mm. It was that's cool. So weird. <laughs> But really, I don't really like clever. Such on yellow. I'm gonna hold this over here. No. Oh. <laughs> you know what? You might have to put Nicole back up and we'll see if that fixes it. Oh yeah. Go on, you go and get another drink. Oh my god. You see the beard, Nicole, like, we'll the beard that I had back then. Oh, I hated that beard you had. <laughs> awful. It's just awful. A bit uh shaggy. Too much. Oh, look, I'm still You're yellow. Still yellow. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it doesn't way, matter. It's a way Don't stop recording whatever you do. Don't what? Don't stop it recording. I was going to say, should we pause it and splice it together? Is that no, no, fuck that. Let's <laughs> carry on. Okay. Splice oh, together. Yeah, when have you ever spliced anything together? Yeah, I'll just I'll be yellow. Direct, I'll, so. I'll be yellow. I don't mind. What? We've written Nicole, right? Nicole, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She'd be like, shout out to my friends and family, blah blah blah. Okay, I just had that made me illusion. Foxy Bingo, honestly, I don't want to promote bank gambling, gambling, but there's this free room on there where you can just play games for free. And I've literally just had it open and just been pressing it all day. And I've only played the free room three days in a row. And I've got 64 quid. And I'm not sure if it will let me withdraw this money, but when I click on it, it says withdrawable. So but I want to try and get more before I withdraw it, but pretty good. Why am I in yellow? What if I just put this on? It was all yellow. Look at the stars. Look, I was nearly, oh, did I end yellow? Oh, I did. Yay. Look how they shine. Actually, fuck you, Chris Martin. I'm not yellow anymore. Anyway, if you want to see a proper um, rundown of what actually happened in the finale, watch my video because it was a lot better than what we've just done. Look <laughs> 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 not yellow anymore. Sorry, say that again. I'm not yellow anymore. Oh, yeah. How? What, how? what did you do? I put, the, put my modesty panel on and it fixed it. <laughs> <laughs> what were you talking about while I was away? What did Foxy, I mean? Foxy Bingo. Right. I want to know about Foxy Bingo. Honestly, uh, you sign up and there's a room that you play. You just sign up. With if you sign up with Top Cash, you can claim it. You get the money back. Put mm. £10 on. There's a free room on there called Fox, Foxy Cubs. You can play for free. I've literally just had it open on my phone and just been pressing it all day. And I don't, <laughs> pay, no I don't pay no attention to it. I've got 60 quid in the past three days. And I don't that, think that room that Because that was free money. I think it's for new. I think this is for newbies. It, it sounds like new. a sex club. Foxy Cubs. Yeah. Sounds but I've got better. sixty quid. Sixty quid. That's a lot of money. Can't say fairer than that. Oh, although that Foxy Bingo goes annoying, and when you have the sound on, he goes, "Oh, two fat ladies, ATA." It's like, ugh, so common. <laughs> common. It is common. Actually, I'm common, so I can't talk. I'm gonna have a wee now. I'm gonna put okay. on this. What are you gonna talk about? Um. Oh, I did think of what I could talk about. Now I've just forgotten. Oh, shit. Uh, it's already gone. I'm lucky. Um, I just covered it up. Oh, I know what I was going to talk about. My Halloween party. Oh, no. <laughs> rip. <laughs> rip. Yeah, rip indeed. So I was, I kind of always have a Halloween party. And, well, I say always. It's probably going to be like the fourth year or something. And, you know, I've got all the decorations now. I never buy a costume. I just recycle the same old shirt. And I was like, I'm going to have another one this year. So 
I arranged this ages ago, and then actually, it might be on the podcast that Lindsay might have said this. That Jack said that did Jack say there could be like a nuclear apocalypse and Gaz would still have a Halloween party? So I was like determined to have this party, and then like. I created the Facebook event, I invited everyone, and then people were going like, you know, one of my friends said, what, what's going to be the COVID secure measures at this party? And I was like, everyone has to wear a mask. Um, and the government then restricted gathering numbers, so then you can only have six people. So I was like, shit, more people have responded to my party than I can actually legally have around. So I had to kind of like disappoint some people. And kind of create a priority list and Lindsay was one of them because she'd already bought an outfit and then Lindsay obviously comes along with Jack so that's two people and then there's me and Dan so that's already four and there's only six allowed so I had to split up a couple unfortunately I was like there was one person one friend took one took one place and they only left one so it went the couple couldn't come together and then she said oh can I take the last place and I was like yeah but I can't let you bring your boyfriend because it won't be legal <laughs> And she was like, it doesn't matter, like we're even because he, he invited me to his friends, uninvited me to his friend's wedding. Uh, so we're even because of, of COVID. Yeah. So um yeah, they I had to <laughs> cut down the numbers and piss everyone off and say, You can't come anymore, even though they'd said they were gonna come. Lindsay was obviously safe because She's a top tier friend. Um, I know, but Jack was saying, like, I feel really bad because he's like, why am I invited? And, like, Gaz's real friends aren't invited. And I was like, you're Gaz's real friend. I was like, he's probably seen more of you the past year than his actual friends. Yeah. And I was saying, I can't come on my own. I can, but I don't know. Jack. <laughs> you got to bring um, Jack. They can puke up outside. Yeah, they can drink all the tequila. Um, <laughs> that was only the first that year. First that was time, yeah. that was three years ago now. I know. But it's anyway, not... it turns out now, because of lockdown, you can't have a party at all. So Lindsay was no. like, oh, so you pissed off half your friends for a party that can't actually happen because I downgraded it to from party to movie night. <laughs> and now I can't even have a movie night with anyone else, apart from Dan. Are you going to watch that film tomorrow? Um, there's a couple of films that I want to watch, actually. There's a new version of Roald Dahl's The Witches that I want to watch. Oh, yeah. And um, I want to watch Antebellum as well. Antebellum. I was thinking, uh, yeah, I was thinking of watching it. Oh, yeah, still watch it. We could just yeah. watch it and talk about it. Yeah, I was thinking of it because I want to put my dress on that I bought. I, bought yeah. I, thought you might I was going to wear it tonight. I was, I was going to wear it tonight. And then it would be all sweaty. It would be what? Sweaty? Sweaty. I'm having a um, Star Wars beer. Oh, nice. Weird. Cheers. Stormtrooper, pale, galactic pale oh, ale. I bet you're paying extra for that. It's from Audi, so probably not. Oh, it's, are you sure it's not Stormtrooper or something, it, man? No, it's definitely <laughs> Stormtrooper. It's actually Star Wars. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? Mm. Oh, I got an ASOS voucher for 70 quid from my old work. Mm. Ah. Redundancy gift, yeah. Yeah, I had a great time spending that. I, got I said... £25 lipstick. Oh, nice. <laughs> I was like, yeah, you would have perhaps felt differently if you hadn't got a new job yet. Like, thanks. Oh, yeah. Clothes, but I can't afford my rent. Yeah, I'd be selling it on eBay for like 50 <laughs> quid. That's what I'd be doing. <laughs> I've got another little bottle now, just to get us through. I hope you can open it. Oh, wow. That, was, that yellow light exhibition, I took those pictures on 10th of November last year. I felt that was like, just before lockdown. Like, life before lockdown is just all blurred into one. Life, I, it's just, yeah, you it's know what sad. I was talking to my friends, one of my friends, well, a friend who I've made through my work that I've been doing, who's in America mm -hmm. with this other charity. And then she was talking about um, what she was going to do at Halloween. She was like, I'm going to have some friends around in the yard, <gasps> got like a fire pit and we're going to do s'mores. And mm. I was like, well, she was talking about doing it with someone. I was like, who are you going to do that with? Like, hmm. you can't do that. <laughs> she was like, oh, no, no, we can. I was like, oh, I'm not, al not allowed to here. Yeah, well, they have different rules in every state in America. They do, yeah. But also, she's in, like, Washington, which obviously George Bush is probably in charge of that, isn't he? And he doesn't, <laughs> not George Bush, sorry. Yes, you are behind the time. Slip of the tongue. Trump. Oh, <laughs> man. You are way behind. President Trump is in charge of that, isn't he? He was. George W. Bush, he was talking about the first one. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you see the Trump's rallies on the news the other day? I did see some, yeah. And I saw Nigel Farage there. No, he wasn't. Yeah, he was. And he went, this is the most brave and 
uh, something person I've ever seen in my whole life about Trump. Speak? I was like, Can you speak to the people? Yeah, oh, I was like, come on, get He's one of the greatest guys I know about. For Great guy. Great guy. Drop the bomb. Um, Trump's like, oh, basically, you know, everyone goes to these rallies and no one wears a mask. He's like, oh, yeah, your, state, your state is nice and open, isn't it? Like, nice and open. Like, <laughs> this is not a good thing. And then his chief medical advisor has said publicly that these rallies are potential super spreader events. Every time I see one on TV, I'm like, what the fuck? It's, it's na like... na natural selection. Yeah, <laughs> and, and it. <laughs> so true. When is the actual election? I think it's merely days away, maybe four or five days away now. Oh, well, fingers crossed. God, fingers crossed that that other old man wins that it. That doddery old fuck all so game. So old. <laughs> Why? Does anyone want either? Is there no women out? available? Yeah. Any, you know, people of other colours than white? No, I thought not. Okay. We've had, one. We've had one. Yeah, that's, that's enough. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we haven't had a woman. Oh, no. No, uh, no we're not ready we're, for that. We dream of it. <laughs> <laughs> Too emotional. <laughs> so now let's get in the BB rewind machine and go back to episode 32. <laughs> oh, God. And the night news <laughs> competition that you were so keen and excited to see yet was spoiled on by Brady. Also, that competition wasn't that good without Kesa and Kathy in it. What did you think of that uh, comp? Um, I it's actually, different, something different. Yeah, I actually liked it from a variety point of view. I'd never seen it before. I know you had, and for yeah. people to revisit it because it was iconic it was probably more enjoyable. But like, I, I liked it. It was like, it was interesting to watch it play out because it's just a different type of competition. The way people yeah. can get like run out of moves and stuff. I liked it. It was good. I want to see more kind of stuff like that actually. Um, and like you said, I liked Enzo doing his own thing. Yeah, exactly. And I don't think, you know, Enzo doing his own thing, I don't think it's a, any sort of strategy, do you? Like, he's not yeah. a mastermind in any kind of way. No, he, what he didn't, because he's got a good relationship with Christmas, and he didn't want to be seen to be, you know, attacking her as well with Cody. Yeah, well, Cody was like, we really want, I really want to back Christmas into a corner, and I really want mm. Enzo to be a part of it. Mm. But there was, I don't know if they discussed that. No, they didn't have time to because they didn't know how the comp worked. But if they watched old seasons, they would have known. So, yeah. new school. Um, what's this? That's basically where my notes start. I don't know about yours. Christmas said, oh, now King Kesa makes sense, you know, because Kesa was like the comic book. But he was called King Kesa in back in the day. So. No. People don't know. People don't know. They don't, they're not BB historians like you. No, they don't know. Uh, so, nightmare. Anything else about nightmares? Um, Ivor and Enzo deserved that win. So, obviously, I felt like he did earn it, actually, even though I just said he had no strategy. Mm. Cody fucked himself. Christmas had got no moves left. Um, I was just, like, pissed off at them for, like, being up in arms, but that Enzo wasn't towing the party line. Yeah, Cody said Enzo is only worried about himself. Yeah, because only one As fucking person wins Big yeah. Brother. As you all should be at the moment. Yeah, dumb. Dumb, dumb, dumb. Did Christmas say something about eating a crow to Cody? Oh, did she say eat, you need to eat crow or something? Something like that's that. A, yeah, that's an expression. What is like, that? Eating crow, like eating humble pie. What's crow, as in the bird? Yeah. You eat, you eat crow. crow. Yeah, go and eat crow. Jeez, that sounds like yeah. a real poverty <laughs> diet. It's probably from like ye olde days, isn't it? It must be. <laughs> um... <laughs> Enzo's, oh. H Enzo's H O H room. Do you remember? Oh yeah, Guinness. You, you, no, did you look? At, did you see what was in his uh, H O H no. box? Yet? No, what was in there? He had a box of Kellogg Special K. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I did I see thought, that. Actually. How weird is that to have yeah. that in your H O H box? <laughs> I know. You think cereal from England? I mean, uh -huh. they must have it in America too, but it's just like. Oh no, but it is, it is a British thing, I think. It's supposed to be it's like the, a cereal for people that are on a diet, isn't it? Yeah, oh yeah, you eat two bowls diet. of it and <laughs> yeah, and then have a proper meal. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where I am in my notes, don't He kept no. his shades on to read that message from his brother. Oh yeah, because he didn't want to cry. No. 
Oh uh, yeah, eat crow. Oh god, I've got loads of shit before that. It's nothing of interest. Though. Really? Um, oh yeah, Enzo got a special K in his basket. <laughs> Enzo got his sunnies on as doesn't want to cry. <laughs> I basically got Christmas said eat crow. Enzo got a special K. Enzo got his sunnies on. Exactly same shit. Same. <laughs> no, it's just you. Yeah. 